Hey, how's it going guys? So I decided to make another video since I was getting a lot of questions about the Alienware X51. And in this video, we're going to be discussing specs. Um, we're going to be discussing two models. The 699, which is the, the low-end model, and the high-end model, the model that I ordered. Um, we're going to be talking about two parts only, which is going to be the, the processor and the video card. Because those are the only two differences between the models. So we're going to be talking about what type of performance to expect from the NVIDIA card. Um, and what type of performance to expect from the Intel um, processor and what type of processor it is and etc. Just to, like understand like the type of performance to expect from the system. So let's get started with the processor. Okay, so for the for the base model, we have the Intel i3, which is a 2120 processor. So I did a little research on the Core i3 2120 processor and it, the clock speed is 3.3 .3 gigahertz with 3 megabytes of cache. It has two active cores, but it actually has hyper-threading, so the system actually recognizes and actually sees four cores, but the system is actually a dual core. It's actually, um, you get added performance on certain applications that benefit from having dual core. Um, it doesn't have turbo boost, um, and it, it actually might have Intel HD Graphics 2000. Not that it really matters, because obviously those graphics um, are pathetic, actually. But it's just kind of interesting. It's something to note um, that it might be included in the system. And, you know, the, this processor is a solid processor. I mean, if you're not going to do heavy video editing or any type of thing, I mean, this processor will get the job done having a, a decent video card along with it, and you'll, you'll have a decent computer. Now let's discuss the video card, which is the most important part of the computer, and that's the main reason why people are paying six ninety nine or whatever price for an Alienware is because of the video card. Um, so what we have here for the entry model, we have the NVIDIA GeForce GT five forty five, and it has a memory of one gig. It has one hundred and forty four cores. Graphics clock speed is at eight seventy. Processor clock is at seventeen forty. Now, what do we know about this video card? According to Alienware, it's capable of playing Battlefield 3 at high settings at full 1080p while maintaining 30 frames. Um, Ultra is completely out of the question. If it can barely maintain 30 frames at a high settings, if you were to put Ultra, the system is just going to bog down and, and become a complete slideshow. But if you really think about it, um, Battlefield is a very demanding game. And for it to be able to play it at a full 1080p resolution and high setting, that's very impressive. Although 30 frames, some people would say, well, you can build a computer and have 60 frames. Well, 30 frames, just to give an idea of the performance, um, Halo plays at 30 frames. So just because it's a lower frame rate, does it, it doesn't mean that it's going to look laggy or choppy. I mean, 30 frames is more than enough. And there's also a, a limit that the human eye can see or the difference and frame rate that the human eye can distinguish. I forgot the number, but there's there's a limit. I mean, if you were to have a hundred and something frames, uh, it would look the same to the human eye if it would have been like forty or fifty. I don't really know the exact number, but there's there's um, examples all over the internet and stuff. So, but yeah, so this this graphics card can actually hold its own, and you can um, have this and be able to play most games at least at medium. You know, and if it could play Battlefield th Battlefield Three at high, I mean, you can pretty much play anything else at at least medium settings so you can definitely do some gaming and the graphics of of having high settings or medium settings on most games are the, that's going to be more than enough to to destroy a, a console game i mean playing battlefield 3 on a console looks crappy it's not even hd it's actually most people actually don't know that that you know today's consoles are not actually hd they're below hd and they're upscaled only racing games and certain racing games are full HD because all they have is just the vehicle and the road just keeps replicating itself and re in, in an infinite loop so they're able to push um, a full 1080p resolution on, on racing games and stuff but for shooting games and for other games for the most part they're under HD so computers are always going to have the upper hand and even though this this console this console <laughs> This PC looks like a console. It's not a console. It's still a full-blown PC. The size makes it look like a console, so it makes you think that it's a console, but it's not. It's still a full-blown Alienware. It's not as beastly as the old Alienwares or the current Alienware is, the Aurora, 
but it's just a smaller you know form factor alienware that can still perform it still has it's still standing up to its name of being an alienware and i think this is a solid um video card that can definitely do some gaming i mean it can hold its own all right let's move on to the, the high-end model which is 1149 um, it comes with Intel i7 quad core, 8 gigs of RAM. It comes with an option for a Blu ray player. Um, it has 1 gig of RAM using the GeForce GTX 555 video card. And we're going to explore the processor and the video card on this model and see what it can do. Okay, so the processor in this system is an Intel i7 2600 quad core processor. Um, the clock speed of this processor is 3.4 with 8 megabytes of cache. It has 4 cores and it also has hyper-threading technology so therefore it has 8 threads. The system is going to think that it has 8 cores and it's going to act like it like if it has 8 cores. It also has turbo boost to overclock the, the processor to 3.8 gigahertz depending on the application that might need it, need the extra performance boost. Um, it also might have Intel's HD Graphics 2000, which may be included. Again, this is um, not really important. It's just I, you know, just in case if somebody needs to know whether or not if it's if it's going to be included or not. Um, also, another thing to note: this is actually the same processor found in the 27-inch iMac built to order, which is over a $2,000 computer. So, um, yeah, it's just something to note that you're essentially getting the same processor that you know. Um, people are buying on a three two thousand dollar Apple computer, and well, we all know that Apple's computers can be, you know, more expensive because of the because of the design and the materials that they use in their computers and stuff. So, so yeah. But let's not get into any Apple versus Windows debate. Um, at least not today. <laughs> all right, let's move on to the star of the computer which is the NVIDIA GeForce GTX 555 well this is exactly it actually has exactly the same RAM 1 gig it has almost twice as many cores hence almost a double the performance um, the clock speed of the processor and the graphics clock speed is actually slower than the other one but I guess having more cores means more performance um, and one of the things with this graphics card, according to the manufacturers of this um, graphics card and Alienware, it can play Battlefield 3 at high settings at full 1080p while maintaining over 50 frames, which is actually really impressive. And I've heard a lot of people bash on this video card, and they're like, oh, with this video card, you're not going to be able to play anything. This is a pathetic video card. But I'm looking at the stats for this video card, and I'm impressed. Um, 50 frames at high settings. I mean, Ultra might even be possible on this one at a lower frame rate or barely playable frame rate but I mean I think this is a solid video card um, paired up with the Core i7 quad core processor um, you can get amazing performance out of this and I mean if you're not completely satisfied with this video card I mean there's going to be other options out there and I'm actually going to talk about one of those other options in the next section of this clip so I think this this video card is a solid video card and I'm looking forward to trying it out and seeing how many frame rates I can get out of different games and and I'm, I'm gonna post my full review on the console and I'm gonna push this video card and and see what it can actually do but judging from you know what I see online um, high settings 1080p 50 frames according to Alienware Battlefield 3 I'm impressed um, I can't wait to get started and try out this video card and see what it can do Moving on to the most important part, upgrades. Well, according to Alienware, you're able to upgrade every part of the computer since it's using desktop parts and basically stock parts. You can literally put anything into the system. Now, one of the things that I was thinking of, um, well, the power supply isn't going to be very huge on the system, so there's going to be a limitation on the size or the power consumption of the car that you're going to be able to put in there. And obviously, the heat as well because the case is so small but according to um, geforce.com and maximumpc.com where you're going to be able to install this NVIDIA GeForce GTX 560 Ti and this video card is capable of playing Battlefield 3 at ultra settings everything maxed out 
full 1080p at a consistent frame rate of 40 frames. So that's incredible. And this is one of the reasons why um, I decided to jump with the last Alienware. I mean, I don't need the computer system to be running at 60 frames for the latest games. I just want to play Battlefield. I want to play some other games. My, my brother has a list of games that he wants to play. And with this video card, at least in the future, we'll have this video card as a future upgrade that we can, you know, pop in there and be set for a couple years or a couple months more for the latest games. And I mean, I would love to play Battlefield 3 at ultra settings and, and have full 1080p resolution. I'm pretty sure it's going to look beautiful. And I, as time goes on, I'm pretty sure there's going to be other upgrades and um, other things that Alienware are going to, you know, certify for their system or say that it's okay to, you know, put into the system. Um, maybe even a GTX 580, which is an even beastlier card than this one. Um, but again, like I said, um, this GTX 560 at 40 frames is absolutely amazing. Thank you guys so much for watching this entire video. This video was really long and I was just basically talking to the whole, through the whole thing. But I hopefully answered some of you guys' questions. And, and if I didn't, I mean, if you guys have other questions, just send me a message or leave me a comment. I'll get back to you all you guys. And this screenshot is of the work that I did for this video. Um, it took me around three hours to, to make this video. So it took me a while. And obviously the research as well for the video. But um, hopefully it helps out some people in making the decision on whether or not to buy an Alienware. Well, guys, thanks for watching. I'll catch you guys later.